So, Red, we were talking about the mission over Partibus, where you and Sergeant Dempsey had to go down into the bomb bay without parachutes and stand on that little catwalk to crank down the main landing gear. Then what happened? You had to go up into the nose and take care of that front wheel? We had to uh, manually kick the nose gear loose, and it came, always come, swung forward. Mm -hmm. And it got it, and then it locked in position. I see. So now we got all of them. The gears are all down, main and nose gear, and locked in their position for safe to land. Right. That's what made it possible for you to do an almost normal landing. But there was a lot of damage yes. on that plane, right? Oh yeah. Oh boy. How did you feel when you got out of the plane and looked at the damage? What did you see? I I don't remember feeling much of anything other than, you know, it's good to be home, you know, other than something that's along those lines. Mm -hmm. Did you think that you and Sergeant Dempsey would be getting the Distinguished Flying Cross for that action? No, never, never thought anything about it. No. How did that come as a surprise to you then? What was that like? When did they tell you and oh, so forth? Oh, uh, there, uh, a notice on the big old uh, squadron uh, bulletin board? Well, we had, yeah, I was going to say to you, I forgot the name that we called it, you know, yeah, we were the big bulletin board, yes. It's anybody orders and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it notified us that uh, there'd be a, a military formation together of just our squadron and uh, to be held on a certain date. So, uh, then some of the, some fellow uh, when he was in the chow hall uh, down, down underneath the ground there yeah somebody asked him said uh, uh, hey red you re ready to get your medal or something the, um, I, I, th I thought it was joking but uh, when I went up and then I did see it, it is posted the reason for the formation and so forth and who was getting a, a, a decoration and, and why ah uh, uh, so they had we had the tell us ahead of time because they demanded we be in class A for uniform for the for cameraman and then sure. so we got we got all our clothes up and uh, out in barracks bags and <laughs> pressed them up as best we could but it setting on them and all that stuff mm -hmm. uh, we really did uh, really well there and we, uh, the, the ceremony itself just went off fine and they read then for the public uh, to hear Exactly why and when we authorize these medals, mm -hmm. and they are all all medals are authorized by the uh, Army Department back in Washington, mm -hmm. and, who, and even the, they read off their authorizations and numbers and all that. But it was quite a deal. Do you think it was Lieutenant Lee, your pilot, who nominated you, who suggested that you two guys should get this medal? How did how did it come about that you got it? Who do you think was the instigator? Well, I think the debriefer, after the mission, we got back. He did question, the, at least I don't know about the other guys, but he, uh, he questioned me kind of uh, pretty deep there. Well, how did why did you, how did you do this? How did you do that? Uh, under what conditions and all that? But I just told him, you know, I never thought anything about it until I re read then on this uh, bulletin board that we were, uh, our, our tent alone was to get about f four medals. Uh, I remember one, two, three. And one other guy, I don't, we didn't know him. That's the first time we've ever seen him. Hmm. And I, don't, never, I never saw him after that even. Mm -hmm. our, our, three of our main crew.